and the mini pond is doing full. I'm getting this African cichlids, baby. Dude, they're eating their buddy. He's not doing so good either. Do we need to rescue these things? Yeah. These poor guys. We want, huh? 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 We want him. We want him. We want him. Alright, so we just want them all. Just get, yeah, get them all. Alright, all right. no, catch them all. Get them all. Oh my gosh. They're eating. They're literally eating. Big toad. What's up, Kaferos? Welcome back to another video here. We've got the live well. A few extra baits were left over when I got home, and I fed, thumped them. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't done so already. I put a bunch of videos of feeding my fish on there, and I know you guys will enjoy those little extra clips there. So follow me, at Paul Kaferos, if you want to see some extra feeding videos, as well as many other things. But Mini Pond's doing just fine. That's out in my backyard. Not only thump, which is right there, but other pets. And they're in these bushes right here. And they come. I have minnows, mosquito fish is what they're called, and they've breeded into thousands. Like, I only put like 10 in here when I first started, or like 20. And look how many come out of these weeds. They all live in here, and they live up under that waterfall, and they live in these and these. They make babies for some reason, always in the lily pads. Mosquito fish heaven. They're all getting so big too. Look how big they're getting. My backyard is not the point of this video. We are back home though. What we're doing today is we got Nick back here and he said he wants some African cichlids in a tank. I spoke about this one time on my videos a while back that I wanted to do an African cichlid tank, but since this new backyard thing is coming into play, I don't think I'm gonna do that because this is gonna be literally insane. So what we're gonna do to replace that decision is go get Nick some of those and put those into his tank and we're gonna get a bunch of them. So right now we're heading to Walmart. We're gonna load up a tank full of those things and show you guys how that looks when it is all done. I have yet to name this guy that's in the kitchen. We will name that in one of these future videos coming up. Also Luna in my room is doing just fine. Obviously Thump's doing fine and the mini pond is doing good. So we're gonna head to Walmart. <laughs> So, so I'm, I'm getting this because I saw baby mollies in my pond the other day. I filmed it on my old iPhone, but I unfortunately broke that at Aqualand. Oh! Oh, I went way past it, dude. Dude, you're an idiot. And then I upgraded to an iPhone 10. But I'm gonna get this just in case I do see any more baby mollies. I can put them in this little tiny, put them in the little tiny net that is on this box right here. I've seen this in uh, like Petco tanks and stuff when they have babies, so the other ones can't eat them. So once I see a baby molly again, I'll net them and put them into here. I'll probably end up filming and making a video of that if it ever does come to that point, but why not just have this? But what we really came here for is right here. African cichlids, baby. Holy wow, they're unhealthy. Do we need to rescue these things? These poor guys. Oh my God, they put two rated fish in together. One was dead and one was alive and they were in the same thing together. And I took him out and I put him in here. We want huh? orange rod, huh? we want him, we want him, we want him. All right, so we just want them all. Just get, yeah, get them all. Get all right, all right, no, get, I'm catch them all. Get them all. Dang, so how many are you getting, Nick? Oh, we'll get 10 of these guys. Dude, they're eating their buddy. That's not healthy. He's not doing so good either. Orange one and just whatever else. Yeah, they're swimming in the net. Hey. Those things are so cool, Paul. Huh? They're cool. Oh yeah, four in there right now. You got a blue or black and yellow, and then a black and orange, and then an orange. Another one. Oh, that guy's poop. Right there. That askew begins. Molly's, there's a ton of stuff in here. Oh, that was easy. Six. And then that, How many are you getting? Ten. And then that guy there. Loading up on fish. Oh, yeah. Perfect aisle to start filming in, dude. Look at these brand new shoes here. We got the fish. We've got a 10 African circles, as you can see. Super colorful, dude. And then we got our little bait net. I don't know if we'll ever use this, but hopefully we will. And some Melifix. We're gonna go back to Nick's house now and put these suckers in the tank. That was uh, $75 later in cichlids. $75. <laughs> Thanks for letting me make this video. Oh, you're welcome. Sure. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for the secrets. By the way, this tank oh, is cycled. Oh, it's been cycled for probably what? Like three months. Flower horn in here before these. That's what's in this big, look at that. Big Oscars, alligator gar, arowana. We just fed them before. They were loaded. And here is the front, the flower horn that outgrew that tank before. There's a baby Paku back there as well. So a red tail in that back corner there. And tiger shovel nose, you can see his whisker. You can see his whisker right there, just coming out of the back. But what this video is about are these little colorful guys. By the way, if you haven't seen them already, there's a good view of them all in the bag. 
Hey, no also, I knew these rocks would come in handy eventually. I did film when, when I filmed one of the beta fish videos. These were the leftover rocks, so now those go to use. All the plants coming out because we're putting the gravel. The little. Do you have to wash this off? Yes, because we're putting the little bit of gravel that we have in the first place. Rocks going in. Oh, I love filming these videos. That one bag just filled this whole entire tank. It's gonna have to go like that. Plant going in, and we'll be set to put the fish in in just a second. It's gonna now have to like we, stick out like that. Now we acclimate the fish. Look at them swim around the, in the bag. Now what he is planning on doing with those sickles that we just bought. Now what he's planning on doing with the sickles that I just bought, we're going to put them into actually this tank once they get kind of big, and then once they get too big, they go into here. So it's like a transition, a little tank, medium tank, to a big tank. So that's kind of how it goes. That's what all these fish have done. All of them went from the baby tank to the medium tank to the big tank, and now after they get too big for this right here, they go into his pond. So now that you can see how big this arowana is getting for this tank, and as well as that knife fish back there, He's bringing both of those this weekend to the pond and they will be in the pond happily for the rest of their lives. And these guys, he's soon to come out. So are these peacocks back here. And as well as this is getting pretty big, but that one's even way bigger. Look at that knife fish, so sick. Leopard geckos, by the way, too. Friendly kitty. Hey, I'm gonna name you Garfield. No! All right, it's been about five minutes. We'll give it another 10 and then we'll put these fish into their new home where they will slowly go to that into that. I don't want to repeat myself too much here. Gee, this little net is going to be cool if we can find these mollies. If we do find any in the mini pond, you guys will definitely stay updated. So if you don't want to miss out on that and much more other videos that are going to be coming on this channel, smash the subscribe button, become like a pharaoh, tap the button, smash the button down there. It is so worth it. It's going to be dope. And if you haven't seen the last video, we designed my new backyard. All right, you want to do the big reveal? Drum roll. You want to see how on point my coloring skills are? Yeah. <laughs> I, I saw, saw some over there. Blown away with the outcome. It came out insane, and that's not even in person. Wait till you guys see it when it's actually in person in my backyard. I might actually bring a few of my viewers down as well from wherever they live. Have them come visit the backyard. I have no idea. We have too much to come. Oh, 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 wow, wow. All of them went in right there. Bang, 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 bang. So you just poured the Walmart water over the sink in the in the bathroom and then into a net, walk the net over to here and put them on into the tank. Light is going on. It's going to look a lot sicker when the light's on there. Oh, yes. Look at them, bro. That's awesome. They also have a little rock they can go into right there as well as a giant plant that hangs over at an angle. They're going to love it. Heater, everything. The light's off. And we have all the African cichlids together. Super cool. Look how bright blue that one is right there.